Good morning, good morning. Well, it could be afternoon, wherever you're at if you're watching, but whatever. Hey, how y'all guys doing? Okay, I had an idea last night. I'm going to see if it'll work. Um, okay, I was thinking it was a little bigger, but... I was thinking about my tomato plants that I, I you know, I'm going to need to get them in the greenhouse eventually uh, because I don't think I'm going to have enough time, enough heat for them to start producing tomatoes. Here they are here. They, they're looking pretty good. That's them there. But I got four of them here. And um, I was thinking about taking this, making something like that trellis, not quite like it, but almost like it. And I could get four plants in here, but I don't think I could get four, the four plants in here. This is not big enough. So I might do two of the plants. Let me see. I gotta figure this out. Because I might do four. It'll fit. So I'm gonna get to work on figuring something out here with this with this tub here. This is, was a, a barrel that I had cut down a while back. I had something planted in it. Cleaned it out. Got holes drilled in it. And cleaned it out and uh, I just recently emptied it out. But I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna fix it up, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I got an idea of how to take, how to, uh, what to do here, and I'll. I don't think I could get four. If I could, if I put four uh, tomatoes plants in there, they're gonna be really cramped. Uh, but it might be able to handle it. Those plants are pretty big. Definitely could get three in it. All right, so I'll I'll keep you along with me today while I'm working on it. Um, let me just get all the tools together, get everything together, and I'll meet you back here, and we'll start working on it. Okay. All right, guys. Okay, so what I let me get my tape measure. Okay, so I measured inside the, the barrel here, and inside the barrel I have a, uh, where it'll sit flat, I have, fifteen and a half, okay, alright, fifteen and a half, and the, my total height's going to be seven feet, so I'm going to cut that right now. Alright, so what's going to happen, is uh, I'm gonna make a footing for this just in here, so it'll stand, it'll stand up in here. And uh, so let's see, what I need. So nine and a quarter. Okay, so I need two of them, nine and a quarter. Is that right? Yeah. Two of them, nine and a quarter. <clears throat> Alright, so I don't know if you can see this. I screwed this on this way. Now I'm going to put one on this way.
right, so so far, that's going to be part of the stand. It's going to go in here. Just like that. Okay. Now, what I need. It's hard for me to run the camera and do this, you guys. So excuse me. Okay, I need two of them eight inches. Alright, let's see if y'all can see this. So I'm gonna put one like this. Okay. So I need to put Okay, you see that? So that's going to be like the stand in the bottom here. So this will fit down here. And when you put the mud in it and all, it will uh, should hold it. Now, now what I'm going to do with the top, I'm going to do the same thing. But I'm going to make them a little bit longer to come to the, I got 18 inches on the, 18 inches on the outside of this of this uh of this barrel okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get up here come out to 18 inches okay now what i what i plan on doing is from let me get this example all right so like let's say this is all the way at the top sticking out like this it's lining up with the one at the bottom and i'm going to put a string down the center of this or to the edge probably where and then that's where I'm gonna plant the tomato plant and I could tie it to the string so I'm thinking I could do that on 
each one of these sides. And um, looking at it here, I could probably, uh, you know, I, th I think I, I'm going to try it. I think I could do this. I think it'll work. Really, I really do. Now what I'm going to do, after I build it, I'm going to get my torch and I'm going to torch it all. I'm going to burn it. I'm gonna do, that's putting like a, a heat, uh, you heat treat it that way. So that's what it looks like. See, it's standing up on its own. It's a little crooked because it needs the mud in it, really. To, you know, it's a little top heavy. So uh, my next step is I'm gonna go ahead and burn it because it's all—it's not none of it's treated. I'm gonna burn it to treat it, and I'll show you how I do that. And then my next step will be to uh, add the string. Okay, what I'm about to show you is uh, something you could buy at Harbor Freight. And it's a, a torch and you can it'll hook to a uh, let's see if I can get this oh oh I can reach it a little better okay a torch and it just hooks to a, a propane tank and uh, you can adjust how much fire comes out and all but uh, I'll tell you I use this for making the holes in my when I lay out my uh, material my uh, landscape material. I'll, I'll heat this up. I turn it off, and then I push this down onto the. I have a video. Matter of fact, you could go back and look. Uh, I'll try to link it on here. Uh, I've never done that before. I'll give it a shot. But I could burn holes in it, and I'll have these perfectly round holes where I can put my plants. And, uh, and then also I use it to burn weeds. Uh, before I put my black paper down, I burn weeds. Um, Chemical burns quicker than the uh, melon tree and stuff.
Okay, so that's going to treat it. I don't need to treat the whole thing, just what's down in the, uh, in the pot. Okay. All right, the next step, whoop, next step would be to uh, connect uh, some string on it or some rope or something that I'd be able to tie the, tie the uh, plants to. So what I'm probably do is wind up just drilling a hole through the 2x4, run the line through it, put a knot on both sides. And so what I, all I got to do at the bottom is put just put a little layer of mud and then put this down. You, you know what I mean? And then uh, because I have a knot hanging out the bottom. So, all right. So that's what I'm gonna work on right now. All right, guys. Okay, so so uh, what I want to do is go over some things. Uh, I started making a video yesterday, and my camera died on me. I didn't even know it. I looked up, and um, it was off. And so uh, I went back looking at it, and it, it it's, it's got up to this point. I want to show you this, what it's looking like now. This is. <sighs> See if I could get it to stand up. There it is. All right, that's going to go in a in a container. Okay, so so what I did was I, I drilled a hole. Let me get this down here. 
I drilled a hole in here all the way through. I put the string through and I put a knot up here. Okay? So that's how I have this whole sod's done like this. Okay? Alright. Then I pulled the string through. Let me turn this over. Okay, so I, I drilled one in the bottom and I pulled it through and then I I folded it over and then I stapled it. I did that on all of them. I stapled it. Okay? So that's that's how I did that, okay? Because I tried to put a knot, uh, but I couldn't I couldn't tighten it. This is a, a rope, not a string. I couldn't tighten it enough where the string would stay tight, okay? All right, so let me bring it over here. <clears throat> All right, okay. Okay, what I'm going to do is, uh, if y'all remember, I take some of this and I put it down in the bottom to keep my mud from draining out, you know, like when you water it and the water comes out, <clears throat> well, it takes some of the mud with it. So I put this at the bottom of all my, my containers so that the mud don't drain out. I'm not losing mud and having to always add mud. Now, if you, if you notice at the bottom of this thing, I will have it burnt, remember? I burnt it to uh, preserve the... In the bottom, to help, to help hold it down. Okay, all right, I got it in the, in the greenhouse. It was a little tough, okay? But I got it in, so now I gotta, I'm gonna fill it up with mud. And um, with the compost mud I got in the back over here. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, but what I decided to do before I fill it up with any more mud, I'm gonna put the plants in, because the tomato plants, the deeper you put them, the better off it's, it's gonna be anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting those in. First, let me go dig it up. How's that looking? I can't tell how it's looking in the camera. Let me bring it in a little bit. And maybe I could show it somewhat. All right, here we got so far. I got two plants in it. Let's see if I can come from over here. Maybe show it. Might be hard. It's I ain't got much room, and I can't see what I'm seeing on the camera, you guys. I see some flowers, so this might even help it. All right, so I got two more, two more plants. Let me go ahead and get them. Get them in here.
All right, so there you have it. That's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to get it filled with mud now. But that's what it looks like. I got four plants in there. Yeah, it's a little crowded, but I think they'll be okay. We're going to try it. All we can do is try it and see. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and fill it with mud. All right, guys. I'm gonna take this off and try to get y'all a good look at it. This is it right here. That's the top. Got four strings. Got a two by four made like that at the top, made like that at the bottom. And I I burnt the wood to to uh, I don't know if you can see the burnt wood right there to treat it to preserve it and. Uh, here it is, try to get it from the back side. I don't have much room to get far back. But there we have it. And I got all four plants in here. Now they, they need some water. Because they kind of going into a major shock right at the Misting them, but you don't miss them at night because the leaves can stay wet and that attracts bugs and caterpillars. Let it up. I'm going to wet them good. I think they're going to recover, to tell you the truth. Pretty sure. All right, you guys. So there we have it. And I'll check on it. We'll check on it later. And I'm pretty sure this is going to come back. If not today, it'll be it'll be all right in the morning when we when I wake up. And I'll show you. I'm pretty sure uh, uh, I've transplanted a lot of uh, tomato plants, and they always look like they're going to die when you first put do it. I mean, almost instantly they start look like they're dying. They come back. <coughs> All right, okay, so uh, I'll keep you updated on that. I'll show you that later, and uh, um, I'll s see you on the update, okay? All right. All right, update with the tomato plants. Uh, they didn't, they not no better than what they were, but they're not worse. They drooping a little bit. That's, that's okay. They're going to kick back. I'll be seeing y'all on the next video. You guys be blessed, okay?